Hello everyone, it is CryptoGrounds here. Welcome back to another Unity tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to switch between different input fields by pressing the tab key. Now, this is really useful when it comes to having login screens because you don't want to have to click on a text box, type something, and you can't press tab to move on to the next text box. And you go, oh man, I gotta click it, type, click it, type. And it's just really convenient when you can just type, tab, type, tab, you know, etc. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like. It helps out the videos and it means a lot. Subscribe to my channel if you're new around here and turn on the bell for future notifications for videos and live streams. Let's hop right into it. So first of all, I have three text mesh pro input fields, one for username, email, and password. Um, a cool thing that you can do with these is adjust what kind of content type they are. So for username, it's just gonna be a standard single line. Email, we can actually make this just an email address. And password, well, we can make it a password as well. And that also just blocks out whatever you type in, which is kind of cool. So we're gonna have a username, email, and password input, and we're just basically gonna tab between these three. So the first thing we need to do is to create a script. Well, you don't have to create a script. You can use a pre-existing one if you'd like, but I just created a new one called tab input field. So I'm gonna open that up. All right, so to start off, we're gonna need to import the TM Pro namespace. So let's do that. And we're going to create three input fields. Okay, so I've created one for username, email, and password. Next, let's create an integer. So this will be called input selected. And the reason why we're creating this is because we need to determine which input we're currently selected. So it's not like it's simple where you press tab and it automatically just selects the next one and stuff like that. It doesn't work that way. We need to actually determine which one we want to select. All right, next, let's create a private void update method. So first, let's check to see if we're actually pressing on the tab key. To do that, we're going to make an if statement. We're going to be accessing the input class, which comes from Unity Engine, and we're going to find get key down, and we're going to see if key code dot tab is true. So if we are pressing down on the tab key, it's going to return true. So when we press tab, we're going to increment input selected, which means we're going to switch from username to email, email to password, and we're also going to just go back from e password to username. So let's do that. Username will be zero, email will be one, and password will be two. So when we just press tab, we're going to increment this. All right, simple as that. However, if our input selected is greater than two, we're just going to set it back to zero. So it's just going to loop between these three input fields. And what we're going to do after this is select the current uh, input field, which we'll get there in a second. So next, I want to do the same thing, but for shift tab. So you want to go backwards. So I'm going to make a new if statement and I'm going to make it before this one because we're basically checking to see if we're holding down tab and shift. So we want to check that first because otherwise it's just going to jump to this every time regardless if we're pressing shift or not. So same thing, we're checking to see if tab is pressed down and we also want to see if we are currently just holding down on shift. So we do get key instead and we're going to put in left shift. Okay, here we go. And I'm gonna make this an if else statement. So I'm gonna make that an else. And in here, we're doing the opposite. We're just going to subtract one from input selected. And if input selected is less than zero, we're just going to set it back to two. And same thing here, we're going to select the input field. Next, I'm gonna create a local method inside update, and it's gonna be called select input field. So I'm gonna create a switch statement in here to determine which one we're going to select. So in here, inside of the switch, we're gonna pass in our input selected. So for the first case, which will be zero, we're going to do username input dot select. So each input field has a select method and once you call it, it's going to select this one input field. It'll deselect all the others and it'll just focus on this one. And after that, we wanna break it. Now we're gonna do the same thing for email and password. All right, so now we can just replace all of this and add the select input field method to our if statements. Sweet, so now things are gonna get messed up here. What if we manually select a different input field? Well, input selected isn't gonna change. So let's just do that real quick. Let's create three different methods for each of these inputs to determine that it's been selected. All right, so as you can see here, I have three new methods, username selected, email, and password. So once the username is selected, we're going to change input selected ourselves to zero, one and two. So these three methods you will need and this should be good to go. 
Okay, so in Unity, we need to assign our three input fields. Username, email, and password. Each one of these input fields has four different slots to um, call a method. So we have on value change. So whenever we change the text value, it'll call a method, whatever we throw in here. On and edit, which, which is when we exit the input field. On select and on deselect. So we wanna focus on on select. So for the username input, I'm just going to, actually, let's just select all of these just to make this a lot easier. Um, click on the plus for on select and drag in your script with the, the methods that we created in this box. And we're going to click no function, tab input field, and then do username selected. So you wanna change the emails and password though. So email will be email selected and password will be password selected. Okay. So now once you select these input fields, these methods will be called. Let's give it a shot. Okay, so currently nothing is selected right now. So I'm gonna look at this input field. So you see it's right now it's zero. If we click on the password box, it should switch to two. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I, saw, uh, I don't know what that flash was. I think that was just a text mesh pro thing. And this is one, zero, two, one, so on. You get the point. So let's just press tab and see what happens. Okay, cool. So now it cycles between all three of these. So if we were just to type um, crypto, my email, blah, and my password, blah, you know, you can just switch between these three. It's very easy. Now when we do shift tab, it's going to go backwards. Okay, cool. So you can also do this with enter as well instead of tab if you'd wanted to. All you gotta do is replace the key code um, tab with enter. So that is up to you. You can customize this however you want. You can do uh, mouse, you can do mouse buttons if you wanted to or something, I don't know. Customize it however you'd like. Anyways guys, I hope this video was helpful and if you learned something new, if you enjoyed this video as well, make sure you leave a like, subscribe for more Unity tutorials and content like this. Turn on the bell for future notifications for videos and live streams. Anyways, hope you guys have a great day or night. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.